Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is Jonas Reporters for the 22nd. And, well, there you have it. Once we broke that uh, 2365, which is right where we had as the pivot line um, on the ABM, uh, selling just became severe. And what happened was we started with um, a move of the orange here above the cyan. Right as the market opened there, we started to see it, even though we were up higher at the beginning. And then it just continued to escalate uh, as the day went on. Uh, and I think it became clear that uh, the healthcare situation was in doubt. And if that's in doubt, that means that tax cuts are likely in doubt, which that's what's been building this market. Uh, you know, and not coincidental, we talked about reaching that uh, 2376 number uh, was my uh, top side range. We actually got up to 88, which was a uh, move even higher. And you can see the same thing happen on the NAS, uh, NASDAQ here. As soon as you break that uh, ABM on the DOC spread, it became a significant play to the downside. Um, They've been packing that uh, euro construct because, um, yeah, if the U.S. is not able to do some of these reforms that they've projected, then all this buy-in um, against the euro and for the dollar uh, is a little bit excessive. But we've been seeing central bank involvement at this level for how long now? Um, so I think that's a double compound. This is bizarre uh, with the uh, Treasury moving higher, and I think some of that's just a flight to safety. Uh, better to take uh, tiny to no yield versus the idea that the market could continue to stumble. Um, and oil. You know, this is an interesting one. Well, we've been talking about it forever that uh, supply capability is just um, significant. And now we're seeing that the margins, the costs for uh, production are far lower than people even thought were possible. So, seeing oil spike up again uh, <laughs> could be a long time, and that's something that we've um, known about. Uh, it's just amazing how uh, so-called market players are so clueless on some of these things. And we've been talking about the, uh, the spike of gold is going to continue, even though um, some people don't think that... Uh, it's a play. You've got the alternative. You can either put yourself in bonds or you can move yourself into gold uh, as the market crumbles. Uh, I think gold was probably a better value than moving into treasuries, though. We can understand the safety of treasuries, and that certainly has a much broader appeal. So uh, let me shrink this 5K because it was very clear early on when this started to break down. Scroll back one more. So we started the morning with a little buy configuration going up, and then boom, we ended up with a DOC spread. Took place right there. 5K turn color, exactly the right spot. And then the cascade, uh, we didn't see a close above the long algo until right about here, which was the first buy signal that we had. Um, but positive shakeout, and again, uh, similar situation. We never had the uh, cyan dip below, but what you ended up with was um, breakout above with the steel crossing below. And that led to another smaller decline, which just was a matter of retouching the lows from that little brief uh, pop up. And um, not seeing anything of value every time we get the slightest uh, increased line. We get the little pop, just isn't. Uh, been sustainable because we ended up right at the peak of it getting your steel cross below um, and then we ended up with the little breakdown and again uh, the last version happened a little early uh, right back here and then the green failed right about there we started another cycle downward and we're still within that same cycle we did, did just dip below um, with the orange on the 5k I can expand this back up again as we get closer to the action. So, and we did get close both long ago. So, um, test here, not really required. We've already reached the lows. Uh, the problem was is that you ended up with this buy configuration and look at that red positive extreme. So you just got overbought uh, that quickly. And when that happens, um, get a little bit of a retrace now. It's obviously gone a little bit below. We're actually back below, but um, as it appears now that um, I think above the long I'll go here at the uh, 23.35 would be the uh, turnaround buy opportunity, uh, particularly with 
rising shakeout if that continues. Uh, we're seeing decent run up here right now. So, but it's early. Um, and some of this has got to stabilize and we'll start to see a change from there. But uh, pretty decent retrace and right within the uh, guidelines. And now we're going to see uh, any new algo setup uh, build and we'll be able to make a new adjustment from there. So stay in contact on the Skype chat and uh, as developments happen, we'll definitely have them out there. As always, trade well.